school. I went to the military academy when I was 18. So I did my military, um, which um, I went to King's College for three years for my undergrad. Then I went to SOAS. Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in a real palace? Today, we're going to peek inside the amazing home of Prince Mateen from Brittany. Who is Prince Mateen? Prince Mateen is a young royal from a country called Brunei. He was born on August 10, 1991, which makes him 32 years old now. Prince Mateen isn't just any prince, he's six in line to become the ruler of Brunei someday. But what makes Prince Mateen special is how he mixes being a prince with being a normal person. He has over 2 million followers on Instagram, where he shares pictures of his life. People love seeing what he's up to. Prince Mateen is known for being friendly and down-to-earth. Even though he's a prince, he talks to people just like you and me. He likes to show that being royal doesn't mean you have to be stuck up or boring. Instead, he uses his position to do good things and inspire others. Prince Mateen's Childhood Let's go back in time to when Prince Mateen was a little boy. He grew up in a huge palace called Istana Nuruliman. This palace is super special because it's the biggest home in the whole world. Can you imagine living somewhere that big? Even though Prince Mateen had lots of nice things, his parents taught him something very important. They said he should always be kind and help others. They wanted him to know that being a prince means taking care of people, not just having cool stuff. Growing up in the palace wasn't all fun and aims though. Prince Mateen had to learn a lot about his country's history and traditions. He had to practice good manners and learn how to act at important events. But his parents also made sure he had time to play and be a kid, just like you. School days and training. Prince Mateen didn't just play in his palace all day. He went to a really good school called Jurudom International School. This school taught him lots of important things and how to be a good person. When Prince Mateen grew up, he did something really brave. He went to a special school called the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in England. This is where he learned how to be a soldier and a leader. It wasn't easy, but Prince Mateen worked hard. After that, Prince Mateen went to college. He studied important stuff like how countries work together and how to be good at talking to people from all over the world. He wanted to learn these things so he could help his country, Bruni. Prince Mateen's Hobbies Now, you might think a prince just sits around all day, but not Prince Mateen. He loves to play sports. His favorites are polo, a game where you ride horses, and football. He's so good at these sports that he even plays for his country in big competitions. Prince Mateen doesn't just play sports for fun. He does it to stay healthy and strong and to show that he can work hard and be part of a team. These are important things for a prince to know. Helping others and saving animals. One of the coolest things about Prince Mateen is how much he cares about animals and nature. He spends a lot of time trying to help save animals that might disappear forever if we don't take care of them. He also talks about how we need to be careful with our planet and not waste things. But Prince Mateen doesn't stop there. He also helps people who don't have enough food or who need to go to school. He visits hospitals and talks to people who are sick. Prince Mateen shows us that being rich and famous means you should use what you have to help others. Prince Mateen's wedding. Something really exciting happened to Prince Mateen this year. He got married. In January, he had a big wedding that lasted for 10 whole days. Can you imagine a party that long? The wedding happened in the big palace where Prince Mateen grew up. It was a very special event that showed off the beautiful traditions of Bruni. People from all over the country were so happy to see Prince Mateen get married. The Amazing Palace Now let's talk about Prince Mateen's home. Remember how I said it was the biggest house in the world? Well, it's also one of the fanciest. The palace cost $1.3 billion to build. That's more money than most of us can even imagine. It has 1,788 rooms and 257 bathrooms. There's a huge room where 5,000 people can have dinner at the same time. There's even a special church called a mosque that can fit 1,500 people inside. The palace looks beautiful on the outside, with big domes and shiny gold decorations. Inside, there are fancy dining rooms, fun game rooms, and even a spa where people can relax. But it's not just about being fancy. The palace is also full of art and decorations that show the history and culture of Brumi. There are beautiful carpets, paintings, and sculptures from all over the world. It's like living in a museum. The palace also has huge gardens with all kinds of pretty flowers and trees. 
There are fountains and ponds too. It's like having a big park right in your backyard. People who work at the palace, to keep such a big palace running, Prince Mateen needs lots of help. Some people clean the rooms, cook the food, take care of the gardens, and keep everyone safe. Speaking of safety, the palace has super strong walls and lots of cameras to make sure Prince Mateen and his family are always protected. It's kind of like a castle from fairy tales, but with modern technology. Prince Mateen on social media. Remember how I said Prince Mateen has lots of followers on Instagram? Well, he uses this to do more than just share cool pictures. He talks about things that are important to him, like saving animals and helping people. By sharing these things online, Prince Mateen hopes to teach other people about how they can help make the world better too. It's pretty cool that he uses his fame to do good things. What's next for Prince Mateen? Prince Mateen has already done so many interesting things, but he's not done yet. He keeps learning and trying new ways to help his country. He wants to make sure Brunei stays strong and that people from other countries want to be friends with Brunei. Prince Mateen shows us that being a prince isn't just about wearing fancy clothes and living in a big palace. It's about working hard, being kind, and using what you have to help others. He's a great example of how to be both traditional and modern at the same time. So, the next time you think about princes and princesses, remember Prince Mateen. He's not just living in a fairy tale, he's out there making the world a better place. And there you have it, friends. That's a peek into the amazing life of Prince Mateen and his secret palace. Isn't it cool to learn about people from different parts of the world? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to see more awesome videos about interesting people and places. And hey, why not share this video with your friends? Maybe they'd like to learn about Prince Mateen too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.